Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am doing a video for the Paige Evans design team and I am using this cut file that you can find on her Etsy shop. It's this adorable string of ornaments. So because um, there is quite a few ornaments in different sizes, I decided that I wanted to do something different in each ornament as far as backing the ornament. Instead of just doing pattern paper in each of them, I'm going to do something <clears throat> different in each one. So the first one I'm going to do is fringe. And I have a fringe scissors, but I don't really care for it. It cuts like the fringe part too wide. So I just figured it would just be easier if I use my scissors and get the look that I was going for. So that is what I'm doing here. And I had picked out some colors from Bungalow Lane. I love this collection because even though it is a fall collection, you can still use it for other layouts other than fall. So I'm obviously creating a Christmas layout and the colors in this collection work perfectly to create a Christmas collection. So I have my fringe pieces all cut out and I'm just going to layer them and um, yeah this is super easy to do. I just kind of have them spaced how I want, how much fringe I want showing and then when I'm done with this, then I will turn it over and just like when, if you've backed a cut file before, if you've traced it and then you um, cut around it but you're leaving a gap, that's what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to trace or cut around uh, the papers and leave a gap. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, and that way my I have something to glue onto the cut file. So the next ornament I want to make, uh, if you've heard of string art, that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to take some embroidery floss and I only used half of it, so it's the three strands. And I'm going to just uh, tape it down here with some washi tape and I'm just going to go back and forth crisscrossing to uh, create the string art look. Okay, next the uh, big one here on the left, this big ornament here on the left, I am going to put my photo in it. So I just took a black permanent marker and I'm carefully tracing around but leaving a gap so that I can cut along that line just like pattern paper to have something to glue on to the cut file. And this next ornament, I am just going to use those puffy, oh, I don't know what they're called, like puffy dots and there's hearts and flowers and buttons. So I just picked some colors that I had already used uh, for these other bulbs, these other ornaments. And uh, I forgot to mention that one of the ornaments I used or I did already was the washi tape. And that was super simple. I think I just forgot to record that um, that process, but it was just easy. You just layer the washi tape on um, to the back or to the negative part of the cut file. So I'm just trying to arrange these buttons on there. And then um, this one I'm going to use some scallops. So I cut some scallops of some paper and I'm just going to layer those on and then one of those other ornaments that I've already done up there it's like a dark navy with a pink I uh, just took a pattern paper and then I used embroidery floss that matched those pink X's or crosses and then I just stitched over them just to add some more texture other than just pattern paper uh, this ornament, I am. I originally was going to do a shaker, but I decided 
that I needed a space for my title. So I'm just going to do my title in this one. So it's just going to say Christmas 2020. And I'm going to <clears throat> do my best to get my letters to fit in here. And I think it turned out pretty well. I'm trying to vary the colors so um, two colors aren't sitting right next to each other. Uh, yep. And then I'll leave that little space in the middle to put the year. I'll do that here in just a little bit. And these are some older thickers from a Paige Evans uh, collection. There we go. So I just have one other ornament there and I'm going to just use pattern paper because I'm going to keep that one open to do my journaling, which I will do that. Um, I haven't done it yet. so that one is open still but I at least have a space that I can put my journaling in um, yeah so now I'm just going to add in some uh, foam adhesive because I want it to stick up off the pattern paper so I did that pretty much off the camera because it did take a while <laughs> and then I'm going to just layer it onto this paper that I had uh, Framed with some white cardstock, and that way the ornaments that are on the edges just stop right at the edge of that pink paper. And I think that looks super cute. So I'm just gonna put all of my ornaments in. Um, <clears throat> they're going flat onto that pink grid pattern paper, and then obviously the cut file is uh, popped up on that foam adhesive, so it looks really cool. It, gives a lot of dimension already with um, you know all that texture with what I've used for these ornaments the fringe the washi tape the thickers the embroidery floss just kind of gives really cool texture to this layout so I'm just going to continue to add these pieces in and also glue these down because they don't always uh, stay the best and uh, that big blue one there on there I had to trim so that it would, wouldn't stick out uh, after I layered it in in the cup file. Um, I will have this cut file linked in the description to purchase that from Paige on her Etsy shop. And you can check out what else she has available there. She has lots to choose from. And then I will glue these letters down as well. So they do not go anywhere. <laughs> and I liked the way the letters um, sit on this ornament. I was kind of hoping to have the T up by the S there and then just have M-A-S on the bottom, but it just didn't fit. But I think it still looks cute. You can obviously still read that it says Christmas and it all. I was just happy that it all fit on that ornament. <laughs> so I'll just continue to use my Scotch uh, quick dry adhesive to glue that down. And then glue down these little navy blue lit, uh, numbers. I'm trying to move it around and get it as close to straight as possible. <laughs> Adding this other ornament with the scallops. And then I was just bending up those scallops to give even more texture. And then this, um, <clears throat> this pattern paper that has the embroidery floss stitched onto it. And then the title. Oh, 
Okay. I wanted to um, just add a little bit of red ribbon onto this ornament here. Uh, so I just use this satin ribbon. And I am not a professional at all <laughs> with tying bows. I used to be a lot better at it. I used to actually make cards a lot more, but I haven't done that in a long time. So I've kind of lost the knack of tying bows. So I'm just going to fiddle around with it a little bit until I get it how I wanted it. I didn't want it too big. Um, and then I will trim the tails here at an angle. And I messed up. <laughs> I went the wrong direction. There we go. So it's got a little V, little V ends here. Okay. <clears throat> I went through my stash and I found these gold uh, enamel dots. I just wanted to put those on the ornament so I didn't back that part of the cut file. So I thought putting some enamel dots would work perfectly to add some more gold and to cover up those open spots. I found these um, flowers and berries and hollies in um, just some uh, ephemera in my Christmas stash. So this is not from Bungalow Lane, but uh, I don't have the floral set that comes with Bungalow Lane, so I am just using what I have. Um, I had trimmed some of the white parts off of those flowers to make them not uh, so thick. So they, I'm just gluing those on and here is the finished layout. I also added some gold sequins just uh, here and there on some of the ornaments and that really helped bring out that gold color. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. If you guys have any questions. Go ahead and leave me a comment and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye!